What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So as you can already tell by the title of this video, I am putting my new 20 inch variant wheels on the M3 and I could not be more excited. Now if you guys watched my last video, I already unboxed these, showed them to you guys and talked about them. But a quick reminder, these are variant Argon wheels. You can check them out at variantwheels.com and I even have my own discount code to save you 20% off a set of wheels and get you free shipping. So check the link down in the description below. I'll have a link to these exact wheels along with a bunch of their other wheels and my special discount code. But let's get these stock wheels replaced and see how the Variant Argons look on the car. Now while I have the wheels off, I've noticed that my rotor hat here is all um, corroded away and, and looks nasty and I know with these big 20 inch wheels, you're going to see a lot of the brake area. So I'm going to go ahead and clean these up and I'll show you guys how I do it. It's real quick and easy and it makes a big difference. I used a large bag, cut a hole in the middle, and tucked it in. These F80 rotors are actually nice. They're, they're, the hat is kind of separated from the disc, um, so I was able to just kind of tuck it in there. I'll spray it. Otherwise, on any other car, you just want to mask it off really good, and I'll be using this Rust-Oleum hammered silver finish. Um, this kind of stops rust and corrosion anyways, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how this works. Now I'm gonna get these tires mounted up. And since I'm waiting for paint to dry, I'm gonna go over the tires I chose and why I chose them, and also show you guys the sizing difference between these two wheels. So on the right, I have the stock style 437M wheel. This wheel is 19 by nine inches. And on the left, I have the variant Argon wheel, which is 20 by 10 inches. Um, so this wheel is gonna be one inch taller and one inch wider. I had the stock wheels wrapped in some Michelin Pilot Super Sports. These ones specifically are the factory size 255-35-19s. And I love these tires. Michelin Pilot Super Sports are great tires. The only problem is they're expensive. So you might have noticed I'm not running Michelin tires on the new wheels. I'm actually going to be trying something new. So I got some Falcon Azenis. Um, they had great reviews from what I read online. So I, I, I just couldn't foot the bill for a brand new set of 20 inch Michelin tires. I mean, you're looking at 1500 bucks minimum just for four tires. So I got these for 800 bucks on sale. I think they're great quality. We'll take a look at the tread pattern in a second and you'll notice it's almost identical to the Michelin Pilot Super Sports. And these specifically are 265, 30, 20s. Now that I have these two side by side, you can really notice some similarities. Um, so the you know the three deep stripes on the right sides of both tires, very obvious. We've got some sipes on the left side corner here, same thing, sipes on the left side corner. On the right side, we have some more water siphons, um, and you'll just notice some kind of slits in between these. They're very, very similar, and it turns out they're both 300 treadwear tires. So I think these are gonna perform very, very close to the Michelin Pilot Super Sports at a fraction of the price. Now I've got two rears next to each other and you can really tell the difference here um, versus the stock wheel. Now we went up 20 millimeters in tire size and uh, again, one inch in width. And you can even tell versus the front wheel, the rear wheel just has got some meat on it. I'm excited to see these on the car. 
And since I'm kind of a nerd, I've got my scale here. I'm gonna weigh the comparison versus the aftermarket wheels uh, against the stock wheels because I'm curious. These feel really light to me. I'm very impressed with how light these feel, but I'm gonna put uh, both rears and both fronts on to figure out how much weight I'm actually picking up or potentially losing, but I'm gonna err on the side of picking up some weight. First, I'm gonna measure the stock rear wheel. With the tire, we're at 48.8 pounds. Now let's see what the variant wheel weighs with tire. 55.6. So we're roughly at a seven pound increase per rear wheel, which doesn't surprise me. Um, they're one inch bigger, one inch taller, so uh, with a bigger tire and a bigger wheel, we're gonna pick up weight. Now I have a stock front wheel coming in at 44.8 pounds against the variant front wheel coming in at 51.4 pounds. So that's again about a uh, six pound or so difference in the front, which isn't bad. I definitely don't mind picking up this weight. This isn't a full dedicated track car, this is my comfortable daily. And here's a side profile shot to kind of show you guys how much taller those Falcon tires are. Um, again, they're 10 millimeters wider and the wheel itself is one inch wider. And now that the paint's dry, we can go ahead and remove this bag we had shielding everything off. And here you have it. Uh, they are installed and my gosh, do they fit the wheel wells nicely and it is a flush fitment down the side. That's one thing I didn't really talk about is the offset on these, which is what determines how in or out they sit, is very aggressive. Um, so the front is a 20 offset. And wait till you guys see the rear. Um, this is insane. Let's see if this is gonna rub. I have no idea, but I mean, I can't fit, I can't fit anything in here. I cannot fit my fingers in here. It is so tight. But apparently these things have pre-rolled fenders from the factory. You know, there's no lip on the inside of here, but I don't, I don't see how driving this isn't gonna rub on this bumper connection or you know up top or anywhere it is fat but i see people running f80s with this kind of fitment who say they have no problems so i don't know if it's just a magical inner rear fender or what but we're gonna find out because guess who's gonna take this thing for a drive real quick and see how it looks great sign I wasn't sure what to think about these 20s but I had faith all right somehow I'm not hearing really any I mean I'm definitely not hearing any major rubbing if 
anything, it's over the tiniest bumps. Well, wow, here it's a little, little tiny tire touching the, the inner fender. There's some railroad tracks right here. This will be a decent test. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. And I don't have music on. I got the exhaust valves shut. The only thing I'm hearing are these dang door seals creaking, which is on my to-do list. I've got a fix for that. Um, the dealer had a um, like a service bulletin on how to fix that stuff. I'm just gonna do it at home. Should be pretty straightforward, but this thing is riding very smooth. It's very quiet. I'd argue it's actually quieter than my 19s because uh, I think those Michelins were starting to just wear a little bit funky after I got it aligned. But this is riding fantastic. Now I forgot to film an outro, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, please smash the like button. It does a big difference for me on the back end. It helps more people see my videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. This build is going to be wild and I appreciate all of you guys for watching. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.